All right, guys, let's talk about this. Um, this is a real number systems question. It's an EOC, and it does talk about like functions and domain and range. And I know we haven't done the domain and range slide yet, but I still want to talk about it. Here's a secret. Anytime they say, um, like, as a function of, as a function of, okay? So what that means is, is if this is our y-axis and this is our x-axis, it goes like this. So for example, the distance a runner has moved during the race. So distance as a function of the time. Here's our next one, fish food as a function of fish. I'm running out of space, but we'll keep going. Power as a function of time. So we just follow it up, down. Water, an animal drinks, as a function of mass. So that's the first thing to remember, is that we're starting um, with the y-axis, sorry, and we're as a function of means going down to the x-axis. So now that we know how to interpret what it's talking about, then what we need to do is what do they mean by all positive integers? Well, from the other slide, we talked about natural numbers being 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whole numbers being 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, integers being positive and negative whole numbers. So integers do not have decimals. So given that integers do not have decimals or fractions, we have to see which one of these makes sense. Well, it says domain. Domain are our x values. So which of those three things, because time is mentioned twice, time, fish, or mass, which one of those would never have a decimal? Well, time, it couldn't be time because it's mentioned twice, but there's such thing as one minute, 36 seconds, or half of a second. So that, that would be representative of rational numbers. Mass would be how much you weigh. It's not like you weigh 121 day and then 121 the next day. There's decimals in between. But you can't have a fraction of a fish. You can't have 3.2 fish swimming in your, swim, your fish tank. So because of that, the answer will be letter B because the domain can only be positive integers. We can only have whole fish in our tank. You also can't have negative six fish. That would be regular integers. So it has to be whole um, positive integers. All right, so now that we know the trick, it says positive and negative real numbers. Real numbers can be decimals. They can be irrational numbers. They can be fractions. They can be whole numbers. They can be integers. So let's see. Okay. We have the height of a plant, and it says as a function of the time it was planted. So that might be it, maybe. Let's keep looking. The elevation of a hiker as a function of steps. Well, we know that you really don't take 0.3 steps as much and you can't really take negative steps, so it's probably not B. The amount of time as a function of words. Well, again, if it's words in a book, a book isn't gonna publish half of a word. It's not gonna publish a decimal amount of words. It's not gonna be publishing um, negative numbers amount of words, so it's probably not this one, and really, Unless we have a time machine or we're in the movie Back to the Future, you can't have negative time either. So it's probably not A, because even though we can have decimal time, three days and two hours and 27 minutes and 13 seconds, we can't have negative time. So let's see this last one. The amount of rain, precip precipitation, as temperature. Bingo, bingo, winner, winner, chicken dinner. I used to live in New York State. Actually, I used to live in Minnesota. In Minnesota, the temperatures would be like negative 35 degrees. Like we still went to school if it was negative 20 degrees. I also lived in the Bahamas and we live in Georgia and temperatures could be over 100. 
So that is the perfect and correct answer because we can have negative temperatures, we can have positive temperatures, and we can have decimal temperatures. 98.6 is your body temperature. There you go. Bye, guys.